Hello everyone! So today, as I told you on the previous video, we're gonna try the switchos but with a turboprop aircraft for you to see how it works. First of all, what we've done, for example, in the switcho trims is to place uh, this magnetic label over the coal flaps. So this way we have the auto feather and inverter function, okay? So once we have this set, we're gonna try. First, this one is explain and we're gonna do just like a startup for you to see how it interacts with the software. So we're gonna start with the master battery on. Okay, we're gonna have some lights, the beacon on. We're gonna start power in idle position, prop to maximum position, and then we're gonna have low idle condition. Then we're gonna switch the inverter on. And we're gonna start with the right engine. First, we're gonna have the auto ignition and the start as well. As you can see over there, the switch is moving. Condition, okay, we see how the engine is starting to run over there, the right one. We're gonna have the condition to idle of the right engine. And then uh, we're gonna have the um, generator on as well of the right engine. Once we have this one, we will proceed to do the same, but now with the left engine. So we will have our ignition on, start on. We will have condition to high idle, little by little. And once we see, we're gonna have the generator of the left engine on as well. And now we can proceed with the avionics and the different lights. Um, you can see here we have the landing, taxi, navigation and strobe. And we could also have, for example, if we wanted the pitted heat function, the icing and both pumps over there. Okay, so now we've switched to prepare. We're gonna do um, same process, just starting up and see the interaction with the software. Um, one thing to have into account with Prepare and Microsoft is that both of them, um, rather than with Explain, there have, we have to use it, but there are some functions that are just limited to where the software uh, let us the interaction, okay, and the functions of it. Now we're gonna start the engine, so master battery on over there, you're gonna see the switch move. Um, we're gonna move the power lever to idle, prop full forward, and condition to low idle. You're gonna have the inverter on and we're gonna have, we're gonna start with the right engine, auto ignition, start, and we're gonna have condition of the right engine to high idle. We're gonna hear how the right engine is starting and generator on as well. Now we're gonna do the same, but with the left engine, so auto ignition, start, condition to high idle, and finally the generator as well, moving over there. Then we're gonna have some lights on, we're gonna see the switches over there, beacon, landing lights, taxi, navigation, or stroke for example, and we could also have so both pumps and the icing or pitted heat um, switch. And then we can finally also have the panel light as well. Now you cannot see it, but it's on and uh, we also have the avionics on. Okay, so now we have uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator connected. Um, we're gonna start engines again. So with no more delay, uh, we have master battery on. Uh, we're gonna have some beacon light on as well. The power lever, we're gonna move it to idle. We're gonna have prop full condition in low idle. And we're gonna have inverter on. Start the right engine. We're gonna have the out ignition and the start switch on. We're gonna move the right engine condition to high idle and we're gonna have the generator on as well um, and now we're gonna do the same but for the left engine so uh, we're gonna have a start our ignition 
and we're gonna move the condition to high idle and generator on. Now we can start avionics and have the different lights. We've got the panel light as well and all the different also interact with the software. Also we could have pitted heat switches over there and the icing switches as well and both pump selector. So as you see um, with X-Plane is a software that had the best interaction with the switches and the software as well and Prepare Microsoft um, has different functionalities that are limited by the software but the things that you can do with them interact as well. So I encourage you to try and purchase switches to upgrade your cockpit setup and this way you're gonna have a more uh, flying experience touching with more realism when you fly. Finally, I just wanted to tell you all flight sim enthusiasts, pilots, or whoever is watching on the other side of the screen, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you and have safe virtual flights.